Welcome to the Weeb Lounge. I am Nick, and this is Kuma 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 Bear, episode seven. And they take a little trip to the big kingdom, and is it going to be action packed? Is it going to be full of mystery? Or are they going to be sitting around eating hamburgers? All right, they're on their way to the royal capital. Well, first, they have to go pick up Noah, the Lord's daughter. And Fina, eh, she decides that she's going to tag along. And for whatever reason, Noah thinks she has, like, this monopoly on the two Bear Mount characters. And kind of doesn't think Fina is, like, the close friend of Yuna. And jealousy rival thing kind of ensues. Yeah, it's kind of pointless, but... it. I'll give it. I'll give it this. It's cutesy, but it's in an entertaining cutesy way. All right, I'll, I'll go with that. All right. Well, in a nutshell, they just head out. They're heading down the road, going to the royal capital for His Majesty's birthday, along with the big old goblin sword that they're going to give him. And they get tired, put up camp, and it's a mini bear house that she summons, just out of nowhere. Just yeah. Okay, she looks at, she's like, summons a mini bear house. And of course, you know, this is all magic that nobody knows or anything. And he, she, and Yuna looks at Noah and it's like, she, you know, you can't tell anybody about this as a secret. You can just, okay, Noah's like eight or something like that. Does anybody know an eight-year-old that can keep a secret? That sounds really bad. I'm moving the fuck. Oh my God, that sounds so bad. Um, yeah, we're moving on from there. Oh God, I should edit that out. All right, they stay in the bear house, and oh god, I'm, I'm going to regret that. They they stay the night in the bear house, and day number two, they're trekking along some more. And all of a sudden, it just kind of cuts to Yuna slaying a couple of orcs. Like, the orcs are on the screen for like 1.467 seconds or something. They're dead. And apparently they saved this old guy and like his daughter or granddaughter or something like that right well the, the, the granddaughter turns out to be was it misha me and the mini but there was see no misa misa i wrote it down i have to write some things down turns out it's a friend of noah childhood friend of noah they're still childs makes sense the granddad is trying to get Yuna to kind of escort them along the way as well, and Yuna doesn't really want to do this because Yuna's working for the Lord slash Noah. <sighs> so she lets Noah decide. That's, what's the harm in taking them with? I mean, just go with it. The, the excuse is, well, you know, if we camp, we can't use the house because the house is secret, you know, the bear house summon thingy. So, yeah, you're not going to be able to sleep in the comfy bed. And, of course, Noah... Do I want to ha travel with my friend, or do I want a nice, comfy, be comfy bed in Bear House? She decides on her friend, so good for Noah. All right. Oh, man. Okay, they're, they're, they're moving on to the castle, majesty, town, city thing. Yeah. They, they walk in, and it's the same reaction Yuna gets when she came to the original town, right? Everybody's staring. What the heck? It's... Two bears walking with ki uh, kids on their back, and then Yuna dressed up as a bear, and it's a bunch of bears going alongside a carriage that has an old guy and a young girl in it. It's it, it's kind of a mess. It really is kind of a mess. It's everybody's staring. Everybody's staring. I mean, I'd stare too if I saw bears. If you didn't know, the show's about bears. Just saying. All right. Well, they finally get to get to where they're going, and that is Noah's mom's house. It's a big old freaking mansion. It's like another castle within a castle. It's a mansion's mansion or something. It's huge. Well, the mom comes running out. Yay, my daughter's here and everything. She's young. Noah's mom is young. Okay, this, this might, yeah, now look into it yourself. Well, she shows up and everything, kind of embarrassing for Noah, whatever. But, you know, they go inside. They have some pudding and hamburger steaks and in comes Sia. Sia, S-I-A, that's how they spell it, Sia. Sia, Sia? How does they Sia? She comes across as kind of like the little uppity, I guess. and Not that bad, but, you know, a little arrogant, a little uppity, but she caves really easily, so I guess it's not that bad. She's not as stuck in her ways, I guess. Well, 
she doesn't believe for one bit that an old little Miss Kuma 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 Bear here is more powerful than her. That she, apparently she is pretty good with a sword. You know, she's pretty strong at her class and, of course, makes the mistake of challenging Yuna to a duel. You, you, you know how that went. You know how that went. You see, she, 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 the, the mop, floor mopped, okay? That's, she done. And it's stupid to keep trying it. I mean, you know, if you hire somebody to guard royalty on the way to the capital, she's probably going to have a few abilities, and the fact that she, you know, beat up orcs on her own in 1.4258 seconds, or whatever the heck it was, yeah, you ain't got a chance. Stubborn kid. Oh, well. Same age, too. Apparently, they're both 15. And, you know, obviously, Bear wins. Bear always wins. And apparently, she's scared of bears at first. That, that goes away really quick. <sighs> so, what's the rest of the anime about? Yeah. Um, Yuna goes through the market, finds potatoes that apparently are not well known throughout the area. She finds cheese that is apparently not well known throughout the area. The guy even says, it's like, hey, nobody wants to eat mold. I mean, it's cheese. I mean, it's, cheese is good. Cheese is very good. Cheese goes on everything. Kind of like Frank's Red Hot. I mean, it's, it's all in one. Most often found together. And she takes this cheese. She takes the potatoes. She goes back and she decides to cook some more. And instead of the Hamburg steak that she cooked previously, she makes a full-on hamburger with cheese and fries. Okay, she, she basically served up some McDonald's and this noble family is just, just like, this is the best thing I've ever had. If you've never had McDonald's in your entire life, and the first time you have McDonald's, yes, it is freaking good. And then you look at how many calories it is and what it can do to your body, and then you're like, oh, maybe I should tone this down a little bit. I need to. I keep going there for breakfast. I need to stop doing that. I'm, I'm putting on a little more weight, and I don't have room for that. So, what's the gist of this episode? It's more cutesy shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, the way they did it this time around, like in the, la in the last little review I did for the previous episode, it's, I I'm sick and tired of the cutesy, okay? Really sick and tired of it. It's, the, the, the cutesy wasn't humorous. It just didn't do anything for the story. It, it, it literally had no purpose other than, hey, we're trying to be cutesy and we're not doing that great of an entertainment value with it. This time around, I'm going to give this episode a pass because, yes, it was pretty much all about the cutesy, but they did it in such a way that was entertaining. It kept my interest. I enjoyed the episode. Now, what was the difference between this cutesy and the other cutesy? Well, I guess that's a matter of personal opinion, really. I mean, this one, for whatever reason, I enjoyed, and the previous ones, I just got sick and freaking tired of. Maybe because the, the previous episodes, it was more trope, 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 and eggs. There was a lot of eggs involved in the freaking shiny bird. Don't like the shiny bird. This one, it was just, you know, cooking meals that other worlders have never had. Some kind of unique situations. The challenge from Sia. And the mother being really young. And, you know, the whole 1.43 seconds. At, le at least there was a little bit of combat. I mean, hell. I'm happy. But that, at the very end of the episode, we see a little sinister figure in the woods with a lot of monsters. Hmm, this could be going somewhere. Is it an invasion force coming to wreck the kingdom? That could seriously be entertaining because I need some action in my life with this series. You have the OP isekai anime character in another world, in a bear suit, punching stuff, kuma punch, and not really doing much with it. I want them to do more with the character's abilities rather than just cook hamburgers. That's my desire. I also desire for you guys to like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Every subscription, we very much appreciate. Every like helps us out. Every sub helps us out. Every share helps us out. Every button you push helps us out. Unless it's the thumbs down. I don't like that one. That one's the, that one I need to get rid of. I kind of, yeah. Uh, so, next episode coming up. Hopefully we get some true action and something tells me it's going to be a, a small battle. There's going to be an interaction with his majesty and who knows where it's going to go from there. But that's my guess. Until then, see you in the next video.